Hey guys, so today I am doing a tutorial. I actually did not think I was going to do a makeup tutorial this week. Um, I had not planned for it or anything, but I got so many comments on yesterday's vlog. Um, I do a daily vlog with my husband and um, we upload a video every day of like our lives if you guys don't know. But um, so I have a daily vlog channel which I'll link at the end of this video. But um, basically I got so many comments on the look that I was wearing and a lot of you guys um, had even said it in like these videos um, to do a winged liner look um, or a winged liner tutorial. And um, I am not by no means an expert. This is something that took me years to master and I I don't have a very like steady hand or anything so it took me a really long time to kind of figure out different techniques and how to do it and everything but I think it's a really nice flattering simple look if you don't like to wear a lot of eyeshadow or if you just like something really simple um, it also will obviously depend on your eye shape I personally get more compliments when I wear a cat eye than any other look because I think maybe it just suits my eye shape better I don't I really don't know um, I haven't really like looked into it that much or anything but um, if you do have small eyes, it will elongate your eyes, and if you do have like, um, maybe if you have like very deeply set eyes, it will just bring them out and open them up. Um, especially if you use this technique that I did in this particular video, but you can use any other techniques. Um, and I hope that you guys will find this helpful. Now, um, I did do it slightly more dramatic than usual, just to kind of give you a better idea. Um, but I will put pictures on my blog as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you want to know how to do winged liner or like a cat eye look, then just keep watching. So the products I'm going to be using are this right here, which is Ico's Graffiti Eyeliner Pen. You guys have seen this in previous videos. I've used it before. Um, and I really, really love it. It stays on all day. They actually sent this to me as like a promo thing um, along with two lipsticks or lip pencils and um, I've had it since I think last summer and it's lasted me this long and it's it's so good. It really just stays on and Ico you can get at the drugstore in the UK um, in like Superdrug. Um, I know you can get it in some places here in Ireland like maybe um, some pharmacies but not all of them. So, and I don't know about the US. Um, I do think you can order online though, so uh, maybe check out the website. But, because I get a lot of questions about this. So this is what I'm going to be using. I already have my eye makeup done. Um, you can probably tell it's very, very natural. It's not like, um, it's not anything special. But I basically just used the Naked Palette, Urban Decay Naked Palette, and um, I used the matte shadows, and then like um, Sin, which is like the shimmery, like um, light one up in the brow bone. So I'm going to take my pen, hoping this is okay, like angle for you guys, and I'm going to just start applying it really thinly to my upper lash line. And you just want to do this really thin to start off with and you want to take it slow because I know how hard this can be, like for me this is really hard for me to figure out, like um, first off when I first started doing winged liner, but these felt tip pens are lifesavers. Seriously, if you cannot do winged liner or if you cannot do eyeliner with uh, like li liquid liner, use a pen. So just take it slow. So just do like a thin line and I like to just kind of dot all the way in. And I always start out here and work my way in. And then you can do a little bit more on the outer part. So you want the outer part to be thicker and the inner part to be thin. Like I don't really like taking it really thick in here. I usually do just once. And then I just flick my pen over and just kind of fill in right there. And that's that's all I do for this kind of part of <laughs> the application. That's all I do. So now that I have both eyes done, I know this one looks darker, but it's because I have a big like shadow here and I have a window over here. So that's why one eye always looks darker. I always feel like I have to say it in every single video. But um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from down below, so kind of like where my lower waterline is, I'm going to work from there. And this really helps with the flick. So I'm going to grab the Ico pen again and just work from down below. And kind of do that. Now that looks messy right now, but we're going to fix it. And then just bring it upwards like that. 
it can look messy, it's okay, it's like, this is only the beginning, don't freak out. And then what you're going to do is take it from the outer part of the flick and drag it into the top, like that. Does that make sense? So we're working from down below, we drag it up, and then we grab like the end of that flick and just join the line into the first one that you just did on the top. And don't worry if this doesn't work like first time around, just grab a Q-tip or some concealer and you can always clean up. The trick with this look as well is you want it to look even on both sides. So you don't want like a big old flick on this side and then like a mini one on the other. You want them to be pretty even. So just kind of like try and judge like looking kind of far away from the camera and see if they're even enough. I, I never get it direct like completely even because it's impossible. Like <laughs> it's just impossible to do it. But I try and get it as even as possible. So um, I think that's pretty even. So you could leave your makeup like this if you wanted to, If you, especially I think if you have like a lighter color eye, I think it looks nice to just have like, you know, the Marilyn Monroe kind of like flick and then nothing on the waterline. But I just feel like because my eyes are darker, they, they, they look better with some, with some more definition. So I'm going to grab um, the Impala Waterproof Pencil Liner. Now you can grab whatever, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. This one I just like because it stays on all day. And I'm just going to line like this part right here of the lower waterline, but I'm only doing it kind of as far as my lashes, lashes, sorry, kind of as far as my lashes grow. So I don't do in here because that's going to make my eye look small and I don't want that. I want it to be really open and like elongated. So I'm just going to fill in right here. And then what I do is I just kind of join up into the flick just like that I'm kind of joining, see it, it kind of makes the cat eye because I kind of joined it just like that okay so now that we're done with the liner this is what it should look like so it should kind of just look like a little like a cat eye with nothing right here in the inner corner so it's like kind of like soft and innocent looking here and then like kind of sexier and like more sultry out here. That's how I just kind of look at it, I don't know. So now I'm gonna do mascara and I'm using um, CoverGirl's Lash Blast Volume. Excuse me, <laughs> like indigestion because I just ate my breakfast really fast. But, um, so I'm just gonna grab it and just do it like I always do top and bottom lashes. and make sure to coat all of them and just kind of try and focus on the outer ones. If you want, you can do lashes. Um, if you want to do like false lashes, but I would probably do for this look, the ones that kind of taper out towards the, the sides. Hi, Sina. Is that Sina or Ali? Sina. Okay, now I'm going to do bottom, and again, I'm keeping bottom mascara right here, so I'm not going in here because I want that to stay really soft and like innocent looking. So just like that. So that is the completed look. I just applied lip gloss and um, my earrings <laughs> just to finish off everything, but um, that's the completed look. Now I did do it a little bit more dramatic just so that you guys could kind of like really see it and it would really come up on camera. Um, usually I don't do as dramatic a flick as this if I'm just having like a normal everyday. Um, but this is definitely something you could wear for every day. You could just like tone it down slightly and you know, you could also just do nothing in the waterline if that kind of suits you better. Or for like a dramatic, you know, nighttime look or something like that, you could even bring the, um, the waterline color like all the way in to like this inner corner and it's just like it's much more dramatic it's much more like Sophia Loren and like you know what I mean so um it just kind of depends you can really work with it that's what I tend to do I just kind of like mod you know I modify it depending on what I'm doing or what the look is or what the occasion is so um but it's definitely a really fun look if you can master it and it is easy to master like I said with the felt tip pen so Maybelline do one as well um 
I Ico is not the only one who does it. I'm sure tons of other brands do it. So just keep an eye out for the felt tip pen when you're doing your eyeliner. And um, I really hope this helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video tomorrow. <laughs>